Now we're going to return to our story on the Palestinian bid to join the United Nations. We have on the line, I, I hope, Stephanie Freed in Ramallah. Stephanie, tell us where you are and what is happening right now. Okay, right now I'm at the Kalandia checkpoint in Ramallah. That's the entrance to, to uh, Ramallah. And what's happening here is there are young Palestinian rock-throwing youth. They're throwing at Israeli soldiers. We've got a volley going on of tear gas, stun grenades, um, burning tires behind me, and rocks that are coming. We're sort of caught in right in the middle of that. Um, this would be the ongoing protest of what the Israeli army represents to these young people, of them saying basically they want autonomy, they've had enough. And uh, of course today is the first day of the debate in the United Nations. What are the different voices that you're hearing that you've heard regarding this? Um, well, essentially, we're hearing that there's still the pressure's still on, the jockeying is still on to influence the United Nations member states. Prime Minister, Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu, flew overnight to New York. He's going to try to exert pressure on UN uh, members to veto the bid for independence. French President uh, Nicolas Sarkozy is also planning to address the opening uh, of the assembly today. He'll also do the same. He's going to try and influence the Palestinian leadership to drop this bid. But from what we understand, there's no intention to do that whatsoever. Okay, thank you for that update. That was our correspondent there, Stephanie Freed in Ramallah.